Next up is to visit the Owens Thomas House, an impressive two-story structure on a raised basement, owned by Richard Richardson. Entrance, carriage. Built in 1819, this mansion exemplifies the neoclassical styles popular in England during the Regency period. The architect was William J., an Englishman, who also designed the Telfair family mansion on Bernard Street on 1880 and now is the Telfair Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 1830, George Welshman Owens purchased the house. In 1951, Meta, the granddaughter of Owen, donated the family home to Telfair Museums to become the first house museum in the city. Look at this, you know, accents, the way they make stuff. I didn't know you're adult. Well, I'm childish. Do I get a discount? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Upon purchasing this ticket, they will give you the sticker with their tour time. It is a self-tour, however, they will give you a link for you to listen. It will explain to you the story and history behind of each station that you will visit inside the house. Too bad the house was under maintenance when we visited and you can't see much the beauty of it. It is really a beauty, especially during spring. Too bad video is not allowed, so I'll just show you some pictures. Though along the way, I have little bits of video clips to share with you. Under this glass is an indoor plumbing, a luxurious innovation for a home in the United States during this period. Cisterns in the attic between the floors and in the basement supplied running water from the rainwater, captured on the roof to all levels of the home.
If you look at the very top, you will think that's a curtain. No, that's a hand painted and it's very detailed. We're heading now to the basement where they cook, store their food and wine and wash clothes. And this is their baking oven. And their warming oven. This is their washroom. Their winery. And welcome to their ice chamber, since mechanical refrigeration is not yet available that time. And this is a bathtub. Also, the focus of the tour is the history of the enslaved workers who lived here. It is an interesting house to visit, guys. So, put this on your bucket list as you visit Savannah. For more Savannah experience, check my YouTube channel or check the description for more links. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.